in laws ah my mother in law didn't like me oh. and not because she's a bad person but because i think now in re- retrospect i think it's because we're two alike and it's opposites that actually do attract so me i have very alike so i think we're repelling each other because she will come to my house and expect i'll come and be gisting with her i'm even looking forward to gist with me i don't even have the power so my good morning ma will you eat ma is the best i can do and at the time i didn't have children so i didn't have the option of which i have now of sending the grandchildren to go and disturb her so when she said i'll just send the grandchildren to her and i've done my job we have gisted through them and that's wisdom but from the first day i met her first day and it's partly pastor k's fault i still haven't forgiven him see there are a lot of things i'm not forgiving for I was in the house. I met her that day. First day I would meet the woman I was in the house. Okay. After I greeted her and everything, I didn't even know she was around. I didn't know she was coming. I don't even think Pastor Gay had even proposed self. So I don't even understand why I was meeting his mother. But she just so happened to be in the house. I went to visit. So I said, I said oh, this is the Isioma I was telling you about. And mom says, oh, how are you? How are your parents? And I'm looking at him like, the Isioma you're telling her about, why exactly? Okay. So we sit down in the parlor. We're watching a movie. It's about 8 o'clock. And I says, Pastor, it's time for me to go home. I says, wait, just, the movie is just remaining small. Let him finish. I say, I want to go home. Oh, it's almost 8 o'clock. Let's go home. Next thing, his mother walks down. She looks at me. Is your mother not at home? <laughs> and for the millennials and Gen Zs, let me interpret that. What are you still doing here? <laughs> and so I said... Um, no, yes, ma, no, ma. I know which one to say. And then Pastor K. So I said, Captain, let's go, let's go. His face was sto- like, I've never seen his face was stone. His face was turning red. I say, Oga, come and drop me. He said, No. When he's done. Ah. So, anyhow, I think that's first impression from that point. From that point, in my opinion, it just went south. So the woman just, just not, not she there was no warmth, no nothing. Like we touched once, I'm sure civil and all that, but nothing. Like no warmth. And I'm coming from a family where my mom is a hugger, she's a lover, she's a she will squeeze you to death with love. She's always asking everything. She wants you to just be come and sit on her lap. Come on. So it was quite draining to just see it. So and she's and my mother in law was a soldier, retired soldier. So you can just imagine, and she has all boys. So all of that was there. And so me too. Because they don't used to offend me. You do me, I do you back. I'm not in the mood for that. So my attitude towards her was, I'll give you barest minimum, ma. You don't like me. I don't really like you, too, so we'll be okay. So would you want to eat? She said, no, she's fasting. Then I won't ask her again. I said, giving all those kind of... See, don't, don't look at me like that, too. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not injured from everyone. I'm human being like you. It's the word that is happy all of us. Because oh. somebody's just sitting back and saying, Pastor M, Really? Aren't you supposed to be walking in love? Yes, now. Nah. It's not from the word we learn the love. So she'll come, she says she's not eating me, so I will not answer. Early in the morning, I wake up, have my bath, and leave the house because I'm not even in the mood for any, anybody telling me anything. I'll just go. Come back very late at night. Now, so when they come back for night, my man, I walk. When I know they eat for this house, we they fast. But as I'm just giving her barest minimum, one day, the Holy Spirit said to me, He said, What exactly are you doing? I said, Ah, oh, um, what am I doing as how? It's what she's giving me, I'm giving her. Which one is that one? <laughs> and then we said, have you ever really read the book of Ruth and, um, and relationship between Ruth and Naomi? I say, Ruth, uh, it's not Ruth Abokoku. She's not the one that will follow, follow man. His God will be our God. He said, go and read that and stop talking rubbish. All this while, because it's always used for marriage vows, that time, I thought she said those things to her husband, that your God will be my... It's to her mother-in-law. Mother-in-law that did not like her. Read that scripture very well. This girl, uh, this woman, her two sons had just died. And they married strangers. They didn't marry people from Israel. They married a mother-in-law. I don't know it, Sha. But you know what I mean. So Ruth was not following her mother-in-law who was going back home. Because woman, I mean woman, everything, she had lost everything. She had lost husband, she had lost children. So she was going back home. And then this girl was falling. Of course, the woman was bitter. So that leave me was not, my daughter, leave me. If I have a child that's here with you. No, it was my friend, get out from here. Why are you following me about? 
Even if I give birth now, she was being sarcastic. Even if I give birth now, can you wait to marry them? I beg, don't free me, free me, free me. People have taken all you can from me. And Ruth was telling her that your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. I entered covenant with your son. I'm in covenant with you. God said, that is the way you should treat your mother in life. <laughs> this is why I don't like the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you are a very one-sided God. Why are you not talking to her? Why is she not the one treat? No, 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 no. Don't, let's not do this, Holy Spirit. <laughs> but of course, like I said, Jesus is my mumu button. Anything he tells me to do, I will do it. So I started working on loving this woman. So today, she's my, she's, she's my best friend today. As in, we're such good friends. Because of obedience. Let me tell you, the solution is in the word. If I didn't see that scripture, do you think that I would? Don't you think I would do it the way the world does it? She give me fire, I give her fire. She give me insult, I will silently disrespect her. Because they nobody where to insult her. But I saw that from the word. Insufficient funds. Pastor okay. K, when am I no I'm on you? Don't look at him now, like his way is looking now. And that's why, to be honest, I kind of struggled. Because, I mean, way UK and... Um, a doctor in the UK. <laughs> He's a pastor in Nigeria without salary. And he wasn't bragging about the fact that he lives by faith. I saw God is live by faith. No favor for anybody. <laughs> we want to pay school. We want to pay school fees. We will believe God. We want, ah, which one is that? You, which can't you drop one inside account and bring it out? If Pastor K was only you 5K when we got married, eh? It's only you and the Holy Spirit. And we won't be in prayer because unless you know one collect your money, you have to face it too. When I was getting married, my parents bought everything I would need. Everything kitchen, microwave, deep freezer, gas cooker. We couldn't afford to buy a cylinder. They bought you gas. Buy a cylinder to connect. We're now using one old green stove. That You know that old in this green stove? We're now using it. That's what we're using in the house. Pasquale was the one that taught me how to use it. One day, I was trying to fix it. I don't know how to do it. Because we're not using my house now. Tina exploded in my face. I sat on the floor, my face black from the crying. And my husband was laughing. <laughs> he, he, I mean, I don't know why it was funny. I was very pained. Put his hand on his head and say, Which car is your butter be this one? Why are they <laughs> Until one day, my husband came back and said to me that he just saw something that he had been skipping in the world for so long. That give and it shall be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give to your bosom. He said, but see this part, we always miss it. The, with the same measure with which you give, it will be given back to you. So my husband said, if we want to be receiving in millions, we have to sow in millions. If we want to be receiving in dollars, we have to be sowing in dollars. We started saving money. Those days... Anything you give him is for sale. They dash us rice, we sell it. We dash oil, we sell You shoes, sell everything. Just so that we could put more that money together to make that one million. And that was the day when we got that one million, which was one million ten thousand. Because my husband said, no one will hear that there was a mistake when the angel was interpreting the thing to him. So, <laughs> one million ten thousand, we'll never forget. We signed that check and we gave that money. That was the day we broke the back of poverty in our family. The word. The word. Is it infertility? I went through that one. Eight years. Still the word. I still went back to the word. I'm telling you, if you want your marriage to be good, go and find out what the Bible says about marriage. Interestingly, everything it says about marriage is that it's good. It says marriage is honorable in all things. It's not good for the man to be alone. That means it's good for him to be married. Two are better. In other words, gooder than one. Whatever you look at, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. It's still good. But there are instructions for maintaining that good. He says, husband, you love, wife, submit. Simple. There's not too much more than that. Let me tell you, it's not what you go through in marriage. It's what you are made of. Yes. It's what you build your marriage on. It's not what you go through in marriage. So yes, marriages will have challenges. Even if your marriage goes through infidelity, you can work it out because there's grace to forgive. There's grace to forgive. 